All right, what is up, y'all? We're here today for the final week of the regular season of the PCP Pokemon Community Players Week 11. We go against our buddy Die. Uh, actually, it's kind of funny. So there's a chance we play him in playoffs next round. I play him in the HBA this week, or this. It's at this point it was already it's already happened. But so I basically had to play this man twice in the same week, and then a potential for a third time. So it's just like, God damn it. And uh, if you couldn't tell from my past two videos, I, at this point I'm guaranteed. I've been guaranteed playoffs for like three weeks now. So I've kind of just been fucking around. It's been a lot of fun, but uh, I haven't been doing too well because uh, I've been. You know, I'm reading in some uh, some more orthodox set shit like Coleman Cartana, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you here. I'm going for the giraffe rig sweep. I don't care. It's the last week. Dai's got a scary ass team. That man's got Celesteela, Arcanine, Seismitoad, Amoongus, Diancy, Golbat, Mega Beedrill, Weavile, Rotom, Dragonite, and Electrode. With Rotom and Dragonite being his Z move users, and uh, <laughs> somehow Underwebs giraffe rig actually kind of wins. Like. I know those words and that sentence have never been said before, but there is a slight chance that this will actually work and it will happen. So, uh, I was, I, until I did this draft, I did not know Draft Rig got Nasty Plot. So, we're gonna go for that. We got the Electrium ZT Bolt, which just blows away Celesteela. Psyshock for, you know, Golbat, Amoongus, uh, and Mega Beedrill, and then Energy Ball hits the Seismitoad, which just is really the only thing that eats a hit. And uh, in the Psychic Terrain, obviously Psyshock is going to be doing a fuckload at plus two. And we got Sap Sipper, so this thing can come in on Celesteela if I need to take a Leech Sheet or a Giga Drain or whatnot. And then I also eat one Heavy Slam, because, I mean, his bulk isn't bad. It's not great, but it's, you know, it lives a Heavy Slam from Defensive Celly, which die brings every fucking week. So, yep, there's that. And then the perfect support for that guy, because he's slow as fuck, is uh, Bushaki here, the Galvantula, with the Compound Eyes, Focus Sash, you know, pretty standard, just get up webs and Volt Switch around, Giga Drain for the uh, Seismitoad. Then we have a Life Orb, Tapu Lele, with Calm Mind, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. I don't know why I started reading from the bottom, I think. I usually put the status move, or you know, the non-attacking move up front, and then it's like that, but it's backwards for some reason, so, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just enough speed for, I believe it's just enough speed to outspeed Mega Beedrill in the, uh, in the webs. Although it might be to outspeed regular, like max speed Arcanine or something like that. I don't know. I don't really care. Honestly, this is, as you can tell by the first member of the team, this is, this is straight memes right now. So fuck it. <laughs> then we have Choice Scarf Cartana, which is just nice to just be able to, you know, just click buttons versus him, basically. Um, a lot of the stuff that resists these hits, uh, are taken advantage of by other mons on the team. So, you know, obviously I can't lock into Leaf Blade versus something like Amoongus, but Lele and, uh, and Draft Rig both actually deal with that pretty nicely. So it kind of has some synergy in there. Knockoff is always nice to be able to spam versus uh, the potential stuff like uh, Helmet Arcanine, which is a perfect counter to this. And then uh, also the regular Rotom being a Ghost type, Knockoff hits pretty hard too. Uh, Psycho Cut just for the Golbat and said Amoongus if it comes down to it, because in the Psychic Terrain, Psycho Cut can actually sweep in the end. And then uh, just Sacred Sword, because that's the only thing I have that can sell steal for decent damage, especially if he starts defense boosting, that's going to be a problem. Then, once again, we have the Pickle with a Rocky Helmet. Uh, it's just the Pickle. You know what it does. It just comes in, it eats a hit, and then it Baton passes out. Um, yeah, it's just the Pickle. Then, last but not least, we have Life Orb, Sheer Force, Nidoking, King, Mirum here with rocks, three attacks, uh, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, hits pretty much his whole team. He doesn't really have a lot of switch into this. Seismato does eat uh, pretty much every hit, but hopefully we can wear that thing down and uh, get it going, hopefully. <laughs> so let's jump right on into the battle. So as you can see, he has brought the Celesteela, the Beedrill, the Seismitoad, Arcanine, Rotom, and the Dragonite. And uh, <laughs> already I'm getting scared because like, I'm looking at my pickle and my fucking giraffe rig and he's got a fucking like a Dragonite and a Celesteela and a Mega Beedrill and it's just like, Oh god damn it! Like this is gonna be rough, isn't it? <laughs> but we we gotta we gotta do what we came here to do, you know. So I'm gonna lead right off with Galvantula. Try to get those webs up immediately and uh, see what we can do. So he's got he's got Beedrill. He's just going to switch right into Rotom. I get my webs up and I can just bolt out. I know he's gonna go for the Defog, so that does give me a relatively free switch into Lele here. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna go for that Defog. So. Uh, Lele has good spadef. I know I eat pretty much any hit from this guy, so I figured he would probably want to go hard Celesteela, so I actually just click Thunderbolt, and he does not do that. Fucking die. 
the absolute madman. He just goes for the Volt Switch, and now he goes right into Beedrill, and this thing can kill the fuck out of me, so I gotta go to the Pickle. I am Rocky Helmet, though, and that does a lot, man. <laughs> so now he's in with Celesteela. I just go right to Giraffe Rig as he goes for the Leech Seed, and I get my Sap Zipper, which is dope. And here's the nasty plot. So, he goes for the Heavy Slam, does a solid chunk, and then the Psychic Terrain disappears, unfortunately. So, I have the Electrium Z. I am at plus two special attack. It is a guaranteed kit, guaranteed kill on non Wakanberry uh, Celesteela. And I didn't. I know. Okay, so I know he just saw me set up, but this is a Giraffe Rig. I don't know how scared he's going to be of this Giraffe Rig. But wouldn't you know it, Die makes a good play. Like, who? It's 2018. Who makes good plays? Like, who the fuck makes good plays? I don't know. So he. I waste the fucking Z move on his goddamn Seismitoad. And uh, Giraffe, Giraffe Rig has been denied one kill. So, I do have the Energy Ball, though, and I don't know if he's going to predict that. So, I can just go for that. That's a kill on this guy. He switches out. He knows I have the fucking Energy Ball. And it does nothing to be Joe. So, now Giraffe Rig has been denied two kills, and I am upset. I even call him a cuck in the chat. <laughs> he's... It's a Giraffe, man. Just let me kill a Pokemon with it. Fucking asshole. So, now i got to switch out. I don't want him to get a Felstinger boost. So, I just go right to the Pickle, get some more chip on him. And he goes right into Dragonite. So, even though I'm unaware and very, 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 very defensive, it really doesn't matter because this thing could probably click like a wing attack and still kill me. It's a Dragonite. A base like 134 attack, I think, is nothing to fuck around with. He actually fires off his Z move and devastates me with his Drake. Uh, but now I'm in with Lele. So, uh, like I said, I'm Life Orb. And with the multi scale, Moonblast actually doesn't kill this if it has the certain amount of uh, investment. So, just in case you wanted to go Selly on the Moonblaster Psychic, I do just click Thunderbolt since I didn't kill anyways. I just want to break that multi-scale. And he actually has Iron Head, which fucking sucks because uh, I just I just let Lele go down for basically no reason. And uh, he still has six Pokemon. Even though I started this battle with five Pokemon because, uh, you know, Giraffe Rig does not count. Uh, it, is not, it, it is not going well. But I got the Ice Beam so I can take out Ord. And finally we get a fucking kill. Uh... God damn it, die! Just let me, just let me kill stuff. You know, I try to bring, I try to bring nasty plot, giraffe rig, have some fun activities, and he's over here switching around and making good plays. Like the nerve, you know. So I figured he was gonna want to go for rocks there, so I can just switch right into Bushaki and uh, avoid that. <laughs> so now he's gonna go into into Rotom. I just go for the Giga Drain in case he wanted to stay in. But now I can actually get my webs up, and he's gonna defog his own rocks away. I didn't, I thought he would just kill me, so I got up my webs, you know, he just got up rocks, so I figured, you know, that would make sense, but that is not what happened. So I just volt on out of there, get a little bit more chip on the Rotom, and bring out the giraffe, and he just willows me, which is fine. So, now he goes into fucking Celesteela, as I just fire off a Psy Shock. So now when I finally attack what's in front of me, this man switches out. He's making good plays, like, you know, this is week 11, who makes good plays? You know, again, who in their right mind makes good plays? I can just go for the Thunderbolt. It does a pitiful 31%, and uh, Iron Giant takes out Young Colorado here. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All I'm saying is if somebody brings a Nasty Plot Giraffe Rig versus me, just out of sheer respect, I'm probably going to let that thing get a kill. <laughs> so I can just vault on out of there. Uh, I need this thing to be lower and get into, uh, get into range. So we just go for the Heavy Slam. And, or he goes for the Heavy Slam as I go into Kartana, predicting that. And basically, at this point, I have to get up webs, and I have to hope that Nidoking can kill the entire rest of his team. <laughs> Rotom is sitting at like 50%, I believe. Yeah, Beedrill's at 50%. This thing is at half. Arcanine, if it's not Shuka, will die to an Earth Power. It's just the goddamn Seismitoad that I have to worry about. So, I can just go for the Sacred Sword here, get, this, get some nice chip on this guy. He goes with Air Slash. Any special attack is going to take out Kartana. We know this. <laughs> so, now I can go to go to Bushaki here and get up the webs. He can just Heavy Slam and take me out, which is all fine and dandy. And then, uh, basically, I have to hope for a crit here, and then another crit on the Seismitoad, because this is just not going well. Uh, I go for the Thunderbolt, and we get the crit, which is nice. So, there is a chance here. Uh, if he's, like, uh, not that seismitoad then maybe and then i gotta crit him on this next turn i gotta get the biggest crit of all time but we 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 do not get the crit and we do take the l to our buddy die here 4-0 unfortunately but 
you know, when you bring Giraffe Rig with a Z move, I think this is the kind of stuff you sign up for. So we tried. I mean, you know what? I tried my best. I tried so hard, and you know, it just didn't work out. So, but that counted in the books. Giraffe Rig tried his best. We got Giraffe Rig aided aided our sweep versus Andre. Uh, we 6 0 Andre basically because of Giraffe Rig and Como O, so at least it helped that time, and this time he didn't. He didn't. Yeah. Oh well. But that's going to go ahead and do it. Uh, we are, like I said, guaranteed playoffs, so we'll be bringing more uh, more PCP content until the season is over. Hopefully, we can win. Uh, depending on a game that actually goes down tonight, that de determines who plays in playoffs. So, Die might not make playoffs if. Uh, if Evader wins his last game, but I am guaranteed. I'm in fourth place, but I'm guaranteed playoffs. So we actually play Pat. So hopefully we can uh, we can pick up that W versus him. So go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe, do all that bullshit. Peep Dye's channel, his link will be down below as always. And uh, bye forever. Did I say Colorado?